Right, so they're saying the net electromagnetic power uh, radiated by the sun, the luminosity, yeah? Uh, that is the total power. Uh, so, uh, and if we have the distance, right, we could figure out the irradiance. And the irradiance is related to the amplitude of the electric field by an equation. So once we have the irradiance, knowing the power in the area, uh, we could from there we could go to figure out the uh, E0, which is the amplitude of the electric field using uh, the irradiance. And just so you know, the uh, time average value of the uh, pointing vector, the magnitude of the pointing vector, if you average the time value of that, uh, you get the irradiance. Irradiance is the same, it's, it's watts per meter square. It's the same thing as uh, the, uh, the average value of, if you wanna call it the expectation value uh, of the uh, point magnitude of the pointing vector, which is S. So they're related to each other. So the irradiance uh, is uh, I is the same thing as S. Uh, averaged uh, the uh, over um, uh, averaged over um, a time averaged value. So it's the time average of the power. Uh, In the intensity. Okay, so uh, the total power uh, is L uh, is 3.9 times 10 to the 26 watts. Uh, let's find the area. Uh, it's a spherical surface so 4 pi and this is happening one point so one point sphere with that radius so uh, 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters so that would give us uh, 2.8 oh sorry sorry so this square 2.8 times uh, 10 to the 23 meters square uh, and now the we can find the irradiance which is the power intensity uh, I mean luminosity uh, divided by the area because uh, that's watts per meter square so this is 3.9 times 10 to the 26 uh, watts which is joules over meter square or uh, let's just give it at watts divided by uh, the area 2.8 times 10 to the 23 meters square and so what do we get from that we get uh, 1.4 times 10 to the 3 watts over meter square that's the same as the unit of the magnitude of the pointing vector um, and now we know that the irradiance is equal to c over 2 epsilon uh, times the magnitude of the electric field squared so we could solve for the magnitude of the electric field so E will be equal to I over C epsilon and then we just square root it. So that's 2 times 1.4 times 10 to the 3. Uh, C is the speed of light. So that's 3 10 to the 8. And epsilon is 8.85 uh, times 10 to the minus 12. Square root that. And we get e to equal let's do it on the calculator here um, times 
Okay. A five star. Uh, it's about one thousand and twenty seven volts per meter. This is the magnitude uh, of the electric field. Oops. 